Okay, in this short video I'm going to talk about photographing waterfalls, specifically using different shutter speeds to create arty effects with the water. So Jack and I went across to Derbyshire the other day. It was a beautiful hot sunny Indian summer day, but it was a bit crowded. So we decided to head off onto the moor, get away from uh, everybody. But it uh, was so hot that we very quickly decided that we were probably better off down in the in the trees. You can see in the distance there, that's Padley Gorge. And there's some wonderful birch woods on the, the western edge of the Longshore Estate. And we'd walk down through those. Beautiful sunlight in there, dappled light under the trees. Lots of mushrooms. Um, lots of first signs of autumn colours anyway, not, too, not uh, too much just yet, lots of beautiful backlight, ferns always look good with backlight, and a few leaves, yeah, just starting to turn, a little bit of autumn there, but this was what we really were there for, down in Padley Gorge, these little cascades, and there were some photographers already there, and the first couple of photos I actually shot from on the bridge, just using the rail on the bridge to rest the camera, and that's at about a sixth or an eighth of a second, I think. So you just get a bit of movement in the water. That's a very fast one. That's about an eightieth of a second. Where you can almost see the droplets of water. And that's a bit slower, about a sixth of a second. A little bit slower again. And finally, that one is at about two and a half seconds. So you get much more of the misty effect. That's back at about a sixtieth of a second in another place, obviously using a tripod. That's sixth of a second again, so a little bit more blurring of the water. And up to two and a half seconds again, where you get the really misty effects. Then moving to another spot, again that's a fairly quick one. And that again is about two and a half seconds, and you can see at the bottom how everything is in focus, because of the depth of field. Another slow one, relatively slow, about a sixth of a second, followed again by a longer one at about two and a half. Moving to another spot again, I think that was about a quarter of a second, that one. That's about one and a half seconds. Moving on again, getting a close-up shot, that's about a sixth of a second. That's about a second and a half. It's about two and a half seconds. The final one is, a, is actually five seconds, the longest one that I took all day. Now, don't get too hung, hung up with the numbers. The actual settings are only um, relevant really to me on that day. You will go on another day with different light and you'll need slightly different settings. But the principle is basically the longer the shutter speed, the more the water blurs. And I'd really encourage you just to go along and experiment don't uh, take any notes of the locals, I'll try and distract you. But that's it really. Different shutter speeds, different effects.